Good morning, pretty friends. This is Allison Wheeler. I wanted to get up really early this morning and make a quick video to show you about the wonderful thing we were talking about last night in the Facebook group. Um, you might have seen a couple of posts floating around about the sync function in the Lightroom Develop module. Friends, if you do not know about how to sync your photos with each other, this is going to change your life and I'm not exaggerating one bit. Being able to sync your photos allows you to edit one photo and then click to highlight the other photos so that you can um, edit them all at the same time. So here, um, in a matter of seconds you can have a million photos done if you wanted to do that. Um, so here's one I took of my son last night, and I edited up using, let's see, a Seagrove preset. And let's just say I see how all of these are pretty much similar, and I want to edit them all the same. So I'm just going to, you know, I've got this highlighted. I'm going to hold down my control button, and I'm just going to click the ones that I also would like to edit in the same way. I'm just going to roll through. I mean, I can click a few of them. I can click all of them. It's really just kind of up to you, and I'll just you know just click them all just just to show you. And right down here, over um, it's over here in your um, right side. There's this button sync. So you click that, and a pop-up window will come up, and it's it says synchronize settings. And everything that has a checked box is what it's going to sync to the next photo, to all the photos that you have highlighted. So white balance, everything in your basic panel, the tone curve, clarity, sharpening, all this. Um, some of the things you might not want to um, sync would be definitely crop. I never synchronize crop or spot removal because it, what it does, it, it spot removal and things like your brushes if you, like say I cloned out this little leaf right here um, and then synced it to the next picture, it's going to clone out what is ever in this picture, what are ever in the other pictures at this exact like location. So things like brushes might not work because if you, say you skin corrected right here but in the next frame the person moves over here, the skin corrections brush is going to stay localized right here. Um, so sometimes you might want to not want to do the brushes. With radial filters, I kind of keep those um, just because I, I basically I love to use the burn ones and it's usually the center is lighter and the dark darkened edges. But I'll go ahead and show you without. Just hit synchronize up here. It tells you the process. And then you can go down here to your film strip and look, they just start to develop right there before your eyes. And they are ready to go. Um, so, um, one thing, so we can just kind of click through and you can see that they are edited all with the same settings. And um, I'll go ahead and I, let me go ahead and step back a couple steps to undo all of the paste. Okay, so now I'm going to do it again and I'll show you um, the difference if we go ahead and do those brushes and graduated filters. So you can sync and here we are again and you can see it does look different because um, I did include the brushes and graduated filters but here I'll show you where my radial filter was before. Let's see, it's this image and there it is. So here, here it is and there's where it affected my photo. So if I go over here to this photo, you can see that it was right here. And the area that I erased was right here. And so to go back and kind of tweak this, I can do that just fine. I can come over here um, and just kind of, I can move the radial filter. Um, see, it's just, it's just very, very easy to to, to reset, to kind of tweak a little bit. So if you want to synchronize with your radial filters and brushes, they are able to be moved. Um, you just need to go to the image, 
and wait for it to load up and then you can drag the filter wherever you want it to be dragged. There we go. So just however you want to work it is good. But I'm telling you the sync function, it will save you literally hours. So just edit your first photo, highlight the ones that you want to also edit the same, come down here and hit the sync button and right there the pop-up check the areas that you want to sync hit synchronize and you are done hope you guys enjoyed this quick video have a good day